Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching Free Your Own, Beyond Journey's End, Season 1, Episode 3, Killing Magic, which is a extreme departure from, sound, by the sounds of it, from the previous episodes. Thank you so much, Louise, for sponsoring. I really enjoyed the show so far. A reminder that if you're watching this on YouTube, you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, video version one week in advance, and let's go! <laughs> it's not a very subtle face, Lexa. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta buy the essentials. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the gift for someone? Yeah. あら、くれのくせに詳しいんだ。スイーツは <laughs> メルクアプリンだろ。わあ。わかるの。何年一緒に旅をしているとおもっているのこと何もわからない。だから、どんなものが好きなのかわからなくて。She <laughs> So sweet. And that's why she was agonizing over it. <laughs> she does not. They're getting to know each other bit by bit. <laughs> Don't like that title, it's ominous. Good. Training is good. Hopefully, she'll never need to use it. Hopefully this killing magic is going to be she's going to teach her just so she knows how to do it. <laughs> well, the defensive magic is going to come in handy. あいかわらずの人よした。フリーレン様のことも I would have devoured that history tome. They're able to kill the demon king, but not this guy. This is今のは一般攻撃魔法です。あれがゾルトラーク。
Oh dear, he's learning. Maybe take him out quick while he's talking. Whatever you're gonna do, do it, please. Thank you. His own magic against him. Why, so ordinary offensive magic can disintegrate people? Good girl. So the child and him were both perverts. Okay. Good to know. He's old. Quite good, less perverted. It must be so strange to like see someone that you've only ever remembered. Like imagine like someone you met when you were a kid and you knew them. And then 80 years later, you meet them again, and they look the exact same. It would just be so surreal. I mean, obviously in a world where you know elves exist, it would be less surreal, because you just think that's an elf, but it would still be a surreal feeling. He did. She loves you, that's what. I'm just loving this show and this world and I just want to immerse myself in it. I love Freerin's character. I love that she fit like she's you can tell that she's an elf and the only elf we've met and marked like markedly different from the people around her, but she's still she's not kind of completely aloof and isolated. She still has her little quirks and her little interests. Um and the way that you know she's been deciding she wants to get to know humans for a long time now for 27 years and yet she's still struggling with it and i think that's so realistic as well that um you spend every day with someone and like we kind of pick up on the small things but she's so mission focused i guess that she doesn't always pick up on the small things i think she has learned more she'll know more about fern and himmel and the rest of them than she gives us off credit for I loved the scene at the beginning where we found out that she was agonising over the gift because it was a birthday gift for Fern and that's why she was so intently agonised about it and then taking her for a sweet treat because she remembered it was her birthday it was just it was beautiful I love their relationship so much and I'm like really afraid that this show is going to do more huge time jumps and like Freeran will still be young and Fern will not because I don't know if my heart can take it like it was emotional enough in the first episodes when like Himmel died and then when um the corrupt priest oh well, brain fog I hate it so much like when they died because like we knew that they had this relationship and we kind of saw it in flashbacks but we hadn't really experienced it or lived it in the same way that we are between Fern and Freerin so I am concerned about that I'm just loving watching them watching their journeys and learning about the past and I think this just it's just such a clever world as well with how the time is passing but it's passing and you can see the effects it's having it isn't kind of just oh yeah well the time passed for the humans but not for her like it's so well done like they do the natural the ordinary offensive magic which is very extreme if it can disintegrate people if they don't manage to get a guard up but anyway it it's derived from maybe the it's derived from his spell that 80 years ago was no one could deal with it was it was it let him run rampant rampant that now we know how to defeat it and even a relatively inexperienced mage like fern is able to counteract it now yes obviously fern is brilliant extremely powerful um and like she's going to grow into being the most wonderful mage and she is doing that right now but she's still like this was her first combat as a mage um and it I love the twist of, yeah, that was really easy. Like, he's big, big him up, but how, oh my god, he's so scary. And then it was easy. Um, it was very well done. And sort of Freerin wanting to retrace the steps she took with her old adventuring party. It's almost, it, it's kind of another way of being close to them, of reliving those memories. And along the way, she's getting close to Fern as well. And it's really lovely. Um, I just, the show, it's just lovely. Um... It's clever and it's lovely and it's emotional and it, it's just so good. Thank you so much, Louise, for sponsoring and thank you for watching.